Here's an overview of my e-bike. It's built on an EEB, that's an electro enduro bike frame from China. These are cheap on eBay. It's got a QS205 V3 hub motor with, uh, it's a three and a half turn with ferrofluid and hub sinks in order to increase its average power. I'm able to put about 18,000 watts through it peak uh, that's not normal, that's normally just on startup, but uh, even at 60 miles an hour, the motor stays cool. It's got a DNM AO shock on the rear, and it's got a Rock Shocks World Cup Boxer front fork. I'm using a Mobipus 72200 controller inside to do all of the uh, control of the motor and the regenerative, regenerative braking. I don't even have a, uh, a rear hydraulic disc right now because the region braking is so strong. Uh, it is completely sufficient to uh, give me some very good stopping. I do have uh, the hydraulic disc brakes, the Shimano SLX brakes on a 203 millimeter rotor on the front and I, I can stop extremely rapidly. I only charge the batteries up to 80% so that as soon as I start uh, driving and riding, uh, the regen braking is always there and I never have to worry about overcharging the batteries. The batteries are Hobby King uh, Graphene Professionals. I'm using a total of 20 batteries of the 4S uh, 10 amp hour packs. So that's a total of 20S at 20 amp hours, so 84 volts peak. And like I said, that gives me about 170, 180 amps uh, to the motor if required, although I rarely have to do that much. Uh, the bike will do uh, just under or just over 60 miles per hour with no field weakening. I could go faster than that, but I really have no desire to. Uh, the max roads that I ride this on are 45 miles per hour, so I can easily exceed the speed limit, which of course I never do. I'm using an Arduino inside to control uh, the brakes and the lights and all those kind of things. I've got NeoPixels on the rear to do my turn signals and my brake signals as you can see. Got a Grin Satiator charger on the bottom uh, connected to a J1772 electric vehicle charging port so I can take this to work and uh, charge it at the electric vehicle charging stations that are free at work. Although the cost to charge it is minimal, this bike is about four times as efficient as my Nissan LEAF. And so on my roughly 10 mile commute to work, I use about six, six seven cents worth of electricity. So uh, from an economics perspective, it's super cheap to ride. I've got a half twist throttle and uh, analog brakes on a thumb throttle. And then I'm uh, using a brake switch from ebikes.ca to disable the motor and to enable region braking whenever I hit the hydraulic brakes as well. Overall, it's a lot of fun. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thanks.